The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. Doesn't matter where you're at, as long as I'm here in Florida, the freest state in the nation, leading the way at this time every day. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what do we have going on today? Well, you got to think that maybe everybody said in on delay uh, in China, took their their uh, marbles and uh, ran over here to the United States after eh, probably a little bit of worrying uh, about uh, what's going on with the real estate market in China. Um Maybe just the wake-up call. And, of course, uh, you always worry about uh, jumping out of a frying pan and into the fire. Uh, the one thing that we don't have today that I think we would all like to see is the kind of blowout volume to the upside. Right now we're starting off the uh, show with about uh, 6.2 billion shares, which is not anywhere close to enough. So now maybe it comes in in the last part of the day, but I could see us giving half of this back tomorrow uh, if we don't get any more volume here fairly quickly. Um, certainly 20, 30, 35 points. Sport comes in at about uh, 44.19 on the S&P cash. Uh, that's about 42, 43 points. Um, so we'll keep an eye on it. What I also uh, am starting to see is a lot of last minute flash in the pan from individual stocks i.e. people got short and they're being run today. Whether they hold up uh, through the close will be another uh, big signal. But uh, then the big caps uh, that are just uh, kind of lying around like a dead fish. Um, you got a 60-point move in the S&P, uh, and Microsoft's up uh, four-tenths of a percent. Um, not good. We should be having f up five bucks on Apple. Uh, we're up about a buck. Uh, NVIDIA is uh, one of the better ones, up 2.4%. Uh, but I wouldn't say anything to write home about after the current action. I um, wanted to see how some of the other ones that hadn't been doing so well, uh, like Disney, uh, up uh, maybe 3 bucks, a little bit off those lows. Uh, NFLX, uh Netflix up uh, about four, four and a half bucks. So um, yeah, let's take a quick look at Amazon. So I haven't looked at that. And up 41. That one's at least a little better. But um, anyway, like I said, I'm not seeing anything out here that screams uh, we're going right back up to the top. Um, we could go sideways or go back and retest 4,400. I think 4,419 tomorrow. Uh, would be a good test if you do it on lighter volume. But again, that presupposes that the incredibly light volume we're seeing in a lot of stuff, uh, especially in the equities, uh, if you look at the uh, total volume, pretty good. If you look at the equities, uh, just horrifically bad, especially these big cap stocks and the FANG stocks, we should be having a great deal more uh, volume on the way back up. Uh, does that mean that we stop here? Instantly, the answer is no, but my guess is that we are probably up against um, fairly decent resistance now uh, through the Friday close. Anyway, we're up 67 on the S&P cash. Dow's up uh, almost 600 points. NASDAQ up 170. Uh, Russell up uh, 2%. It's the uh, leading the day. Uh, 22.64. Uh, crude oil up a buck. Um I uh, ran out for lunch today, and it's been a long time since I've seen gas at three bucks here in Florida. I know it's printing almost seven bucks in California now, um, but uh, you know what? 
I think that is something we need to keep a very close eye on, not for trading uh, per se, but uh, seeing that because uh, that is the uh, control rods for the nuclear reactor that is our economy. Um, a lot of people uh, believe that especially gasoline and energy and oil or evil and uh, have openly said how they want to push it to eight bucks. I don't know if they're going to get there, but uh, certainly for Floridians, three bucks starts uh, making a big change on whether they drive and how far and how many trips. And maybe if they go that extra uh, step to a store, some states, it's probably four bucks because they're used to being gouged, uh, not leaving living in the uh, ultimately free state of Florida, by the way. Um, so, uh, you know what? Keep a close eye on that. That is the kind of thing that could put the big kibosh on uh, another big rally higher. Uh, but we can see. Um, yeah, gasoline at three bucks, especially when it was a buck eighty five a year ago. Uh, people are starting to talk, uh, at least down here. Uh, anyway, give me a call today, 877-927-6648. Email me at path at tfnn.com. Uh, let's do a little history, and then we'll get into a big question someone asked me earlier in the day, and we're going to discuss. And that is, could gold truly be over? Um, I don't know the answer to that, but I will talk about a principle uh, that goes back over 500 years. And uh, we'll see if uh, that doesn't uh, shed any light on the subject. In the meantime, uh, we'll do a little history repeating. That it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1949, in a surprising low-key and carefully world, uh, worded statement, President Harry S. Truman informs the American people that the Soviets have exploded a nuclear bomb. The Soviet accomplishment, years ahead of what thought was possible by the U.S., mostly because traders here in the United States, although being a trader is supposed to only be when you're an official act of war. Eh, he was a, there were a bunch of traders. Some of them met old Sparky. The only problem I have is they weren't able to uh, give him the juice more than once. Caused a panic in the U.S. government. Uh, Harry Truman... Um, had his uh, Joint Chiefs of Staff come in and ask him how many atomic bombs we had. And they said uh, on this day, you know, we could put maybe three or four of them together. And everybody was shocked. Uh, this started one of the biggest uh, expansions of uh, both missile technology and uh, the technology to uh, go to full out uh, manufacturing on nuclear weapons. And of course, uh, one day later, uh, Truman uh, agreed to start working on the hydrogen bomb, the fusion bomb. And within a few years, we had that. But uh, eh, don't get complacent. Freedom isn't free. We'll be back in a Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. As we uh, come back for the show, we had that question of whether or not gold is going away, probably because uh, we're back down to 1756 or got to 1750 again, or if we're just in a trading rain that's going to drive range that's going to drive everybody nuts. Uh, but the question uh, put to me was whether or not Bitcoin could supplant gold as the uh, third rail uh, to go to after the dollar. And maybe the euro are abandoned for uh, the uh, the bad things that the government is doing to them. Um, and I brought up uh, Grishman, uh, Grisham's law, and uh, I'll read this to you quickly. In economics, Grisham law is a monetary principle stating that bad money drives out good. For example, if there are two forms of a commodity, money in circulation, which are accepted by laws having similar face value. The more valuable commodity will gradually disappear from circulation. Uh, the law states that any circulating currency consists of both good and bad money, quickly becoming dominated by bad money. This is because people spending the money will hand over the bad coins rather than the good ones, keeping the good ones for themselves. And uh, this would sound rather bland if it, it wasn't backed up for about 600 years of history. Uh, especially in coins uh, where people started kind of uh, shaving the edges off of them. Uh, that's why now uh, even coins like quarters have these kind of like, what would you call them? And the gradiated, you know, I'll do this in front of the microphones, gradiated edge. Uh, that's so that they could put silver and gold on the edge because people were always shaving them down to make it uh, a little less than what it was supposed to be. But uh, what would happen is people would only trade the bad coins that had already been bastardized. And pretty soon, the only coins that were in circulation were the bad ones. Everybody kept the good ones, thinking that they would one day be worth their full value. Unfortunately, everybody always thought that the coins had been shaved off a little bit. And the price of the good coin was always lower. We've seen this in other kinds of uh, things uh, in, in fact, one of the things I remember growing up was there was a flood in the city, 
1978. And there were all these flood uh, damaged cars that were for sale and no one could really figure it out. Uh, well, everybody thought that they were getting a great deal for these flood uh, damaged cars. Uh, then we come to find out that uh, this car dealer, at least one, maybe more, got caught by the local news channel uh, taking a hose and putting water into a car that they got from somewhere else, some other state, and hadn't been flood damaged. Uh, but making people think that it was flood damage because then the people thought that they were getting a great deal on the car. Uh, but at the same point, uh, they wouldn't buy the uh, flood damaged cars because they thought maybe it was flood damaged. So the idea here is if you have two equal forms of a commodity. Um, now, Bitcoin, gold, probably not the same thing. But there may be a bit to this in the fact that people can easily trade the more uh, uh, more uh, worthless of the two currencies like Bitcoin, because literally it's backed by nothing. At least if you trade gold, you probably can end up with some gold at some point. Maybe down the line, it will be worth more back what you paid for it. Um, but uh, Grisham's Law, um, it's been... Uh, actually, the first occurrence of this goes back almost 2,000 years. Uh, so it's uh, why a lot of what we know changes over time. Um, the idea that uh, uh, the personal beliefs of humans and what they do, their behavior changes much over time is not. Uh, and so far, it's uh, held up. Uh, like I said, uh, all those scarce 2,000 years ago, uh, but rather uh, huge volumes of information uh, from uh, the last 600 years. Uh, give me a call, 877-927-6648. Um, I like my old music better. Yes, why the change? Uh, for some reason, YouTube didn't like it. They were always flagging it. At least that's what I heard. I think it was actually too good. It made all the other shows sound bad. But that's just my personal belief. Um, uh, has not been the case that rallies usually carry up to Friday on weeks, no matter what the volume. So uh, would this week be an exception? Uh, the only reason I'd say it would be an exception is the incredible light volume today. Um, Kramer have been telegraphic start of a big decline uh, uh, September 17th, about 10 days prior to that date. Sell-off began almost immediately after his prediction. Uh, can it stand this idiot? Uh, could it be that traders got a jump on his predictions and the sell-off is over? No. There were a lot of bad things happening. And the problem with uh, something like in China is you don't know uh, the, um, what is it? Uh, uh the uh, unintended consequences. My belief, although I cannot prove it, is that uh, after everybody quickly exited China uh, over the last few days of last week and into this week, uh, and the prices fell, no new money was probably going to China. And anybody that got their money out of China was more than glad to go park it over here for a couple of days. But if we would have seen the kind of flood of all that money, we would have seen the kind of a volume uh, that would be commensurate with it. So, you know, we should be, with the kind of move we've had over the last two days, we should be having something like 12 to 15 billion shares today. Uh, if we get to 10 billion shares on the CBOE consolidated tape, I think that would be a lot. Uh, anyway, you still have plenty of time to give me a call. We're going to start getting into charts here now. Uh, but, uh, yeah. And, of course, uh, this market is makes liars out of everyone. If you were short, uh, you were right for a little while. If you were long, you were right for a while and vastly wrong for a while. Uh, but uh, hey, what else can you say? Um, question about CCJ. Uh, from Art, um, you see anything coming back here? Uh, well, you're back at support. Um, I would have liked to have seen 2195 hold. It did not. You gap through it.
but thank God the volume didn't really increase that much. Again, this is a, a Canadian company. So you're probably better off. This is a way to play China without uh, being in China. And the only thing you really have to worry about is, is uh, this is going to be a very front-loaded business. And for uh, that, probably years to continue. Uh, but at one point, they're going to have all the uranium they need, and it's probably going to have to see a fairly big crash. Uh, I don't think that's it now. I think a lot of people just got out with the Association of China will be still buying and building uh, reactors. I think that uh, is not the case. They're going to continue uh, unabated. And I'd wait for them to get back up. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we turn the uh, gap down on August 17th on the QQQ, had 76.1 million shares. Today, we're doing about half... Uh, well, we're doing, yeah, we're doing less than half that now. Um, so that kind of tells you a bit. We're also pretty much right at that downtrend line. So uh, keep a very close eye on the cues here. Uh, any kind of uh, more downside out here uh, could mean that we are starting a sell-off. Uh, that would take us probably back to 
uh, 342-ish, that April 29th high. Um, so yeah, it could be a fairly decent uh, fall off if we fail here. If we continue uh, retest of 382.78, the September 7th high. Um, but this just absolutely filling all of the gap down, but with pitiful volume is never a good sign. You also have an untested high volume low on September 20th at uh, 360.93. Um, the problem is if you want to be long, you really need to get at least somewhere into that bottom of that, uh, September 20th candle, uh, to wash it out. Uh, question about the SMHs. Uh, like I said, um, looked at, uh, some of them, they're really not saying that much. Uh, I'd like to see a little bit more in the way of volume, uh, on the 20th, uh, we had, uh, 3.9 million shares down in the SMHs. Today, we're up on 1.6. Um, could they go back and retest 276? And they're pretty close, generally, when you get that. Uh, the downside would be any close lower in the next few days, I would run. Um, as I felt uh, um, the specter of a huge downturn on Monday, uh, any kind of close back lower uh, tomorrow uh, of significance, let's say we lose three or four points back again, that would make me think that we're getting ready to go back and retest the 249.35. Um, but uh, certainly bounces on light volume uh, are going to continue today. Whether we get more juice is going to be a big issue. Um, I just don't like a lot of the movement out here, the stocks that actually should be ripping uh, that I follow and have ripped in the past or not. So you probably two things. One, people are not interested in them in the way that they were. Maybe their sector rotation, something else is going on. Um, I would think that the IVB uh, with fairly heavy shorting of the last few days uh, should actually be ripping people's faces off. Uh, why it's up, I'm not saying that it's actually uh, doing anything like that. On the 17th, you had four and a half million shares. Today, you got one million shares. This is not a good looking market at 233 on Thursday. And again, a lot of times you don't get the signal till Friday. Uh, but uh, I'm kind of stepping in here a little bit and uh, getting some protection to the downside in case we gap lower. Uh, question about Oracle. We don't talk about it much, O-R-C-L. Whatever they got, everybody thinks that they're selling a lot of it. Um, I haven't actually been able to come up with a really good um, answer on why everybody thinks Oracle is suddenly super uh, valuable compared to what it was before. Uh, maybe someone that knows will call in, maybe in the know, because I can't read anything or I haven't found anything that explains it. Uh, when you were uh, back up here on the 13th of September, you had 18.8 .8 million shares. Uh, today, you're getting back that in with 6 million shares so far. Uh, and not so much, Jimmy. A lot less than you would think. A lot of pretend. Kind of like uh, that uh, the king was appointed by God. I don't think he had anything to do with it. Um, questions about CRM, uh, finally starting to move. Uh, this one had been shorted for a while. Nice gap higher. Um, you got 11 million shares. One of the few out here that actually is headed back to its high 284.50, which is the September 2nd high is probably what this thing is shooting for. Um, 11 million shares. We'll say you end up the day with 12, uh, with 14 million shares. Um, it's all going to be the test of that 284.50. Uh, I still don't think that they're doing that well. Maybe they are. But uh, I think Amazon and Microsoft and Google are just killing these guys. Um, they're spouting that they're doing extremely well. I'm, I'm wondering if that may be some wishful thinking on the CEO's head or, or behalf. But uh, you'll know here we need 284.50. We 
with more than 13 million shares. So you're talking about six bucks higher across the next couple of days. Uh, we talked about CCJ. Uh, you want that to start turning up here. Uh, if you're really thinking that China isn't falling into a giant funnel, funnel, eh, tidal, tidal pool. What are those things that spin around They're like a toilet? You go straight down. Uh, tidal pool, tidal well. Yeah, I'll think of the name of it. Uh, other things going on uh, in the thing. What do you think? Uh, that we're just bouncing because of the unemployment numbers. I think there's part of that, but man, talk about a brutal end of the summer. Um, the question is how long uh, does everybody think we can wait till we all get back to work? Uh, but uh, eh, tough. Did hear in uh, a very interesting uh, uh discussion why I was out driving uh, to lunch today and looking at that $3 gas, which I despise. But uh, it is uh, certainly uh, a very interesting talk on the chip shortage uh, during the uh, noontime news uh, about how many uh, places in Vietnam now are closed that are all involved in making uh, a lot of these low-dollar chips. I thought it was very interesting. It's only like about a minute, minute and a half, but I did not catch it all. But uh, uh, interesting nonetheless. Uh, okay, Dave, take a look at Snap. And what do you think vis-a-vis? Uh, -vis, it's at, at its highs. Why Facebook is sucking wind. Uh, or as I call it, fascist book. Um, I tell you what, you know, if you wanted to do a Paris trade, I think I would be long snap and short Facebook because I don't think anything that happens in the next couple of years long term is going to be good for Facebook. Uh, snap face, I always like saying that. Because uh, the what is it? Belichick called it Snap Face. Uh, Facebook, uh, nothing good's going to happen. Um, there's a lot of political things that I won't get into, uh, but in about a year, uh, we're going to see Zuckerberg on a spit probably every day. Um, and of course, even the people in power today at the Federal Trade Commission are looking to uh, eh, give him a few posts. So, uh, yeah, I'd be long snap. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. I did. Uh, as we uh, come back, um, some of the questions are, what uh, are the stocks that I don't think are doing as well as they should be? And that is Advanced Micro. This thing should have a lot of volume. It's come off to the side. To me, this thing, uh, the week uh, last four days, and even the last week, two days on no volume, uh, make me think that there is a much better chance now that this comes back into around the $95 area. And I'm not exactly sure other than everybody continues talking about um, big uh, problems with shortages. Generally, it to this point hasn't affected AMD that much. Uh, I like the light volume off the top so far um, that a lot of these, including Apple, are just not doing much. Makes me think, and these are so heavily weighted in the indexes, makes me think the indexes are, are a lot more uh, apt to go lower uh, and quickly uh, with the weak response for a lot of these stocks. Um you know, you look at Apple here down on uh, 123 million shares on the 20th, and today we're doing 45 million shares trying to figure out how to close that gap. Now, maybe I'm all wet on this, but my guess is you got a lot of people uh, on Apple above that 147 area uh, that will do nothing more than want to sell because uh, uh, for the most part, uh, what, back to... Um, July, mid of July, they're on the losing side probably. So it doesn't look that good. Got another question here today. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, is BlackBerry still live? Yeah, I saw their uh, uh, their uh, earnings call is coming up. Uh, what is it? Uh, BB, I haven't looked at this one for a long time. Uh, the big problem with uh, uh, BlackBerry, we talked about it a long time ago, is something called the Canuck discount. Uh, and that is stocks uh, in Canada trade for a great deal lower in technology than uh, the similar company in the United States. And generally the reason is anybody that's worth their salt as a programmer from Canada is going to get a big fat job offer uh, and not have to worry about, uh, well, used to not have to worry about taxes as much. And they just get pilfered. Uh, there's not a way to really hold um, fairly um, good employees up there. You got a gap now. What is, did the, was there earnings today? Uh, I did not uh, look. Let's take a quick. Come on. We're up 12%. I knew it was coming. 
Earnings beat. Yeah, hang on a second here. Uh, okay. Canada's Wall Street has been, da, 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 da. firms BlackBerry are benefiting from uptick in demand for cybersecurity tools. Um, demand for its QNX software. And I actually bought QNX for one of my products. I'm going to say 19... 96, 1997, something like that, and used it. Um, QNX is really kind of a really micro Linux kind of thing uh, for embedded software. Uh, struggle to maintain pro uh, production, persistent chip shortage crisis, meme stock after a social driven. Okay, I'm starting to get into it here. Uh, the uh, the uh, Robin Hoods are pushing it a bit. Um, is it out of business? No. This is one of these companies that's going to be held up uh, by the Canadian government. They need at least something uh, to show that they're in the, uh, in the uh, technology business. Um, this is just a very hard one for them to compete in, uh, especially if you're talking about people that are doing the same thing uh, with, uh, in Texas. Uh, and they're probably paying an effective tax rate uh, in Texas, of uh, with federal and state, probably 40% uh, compared to the 70 or 80% uh, that uh, you're probably getting hit with in Canada. Um, there's a lot of ways around it in Canada to do it, but um, you're just you're going to make a lot of money, and you're going to get most of it back in taxes. Uh, why that most of the people that are fairly good as Canadian programmers or engineers uh, try to become U.S. citizens as quickly as they can. Uh, and, of course, the best way to do that is get a big, fat, paying job. Uh, then you can pay a lawyer to push it through who probably knows a congressman that will give you a little handout. Uh, somebody mentioning F-Cell. Um, let's see how that's doing. Um, take a little closer look. Well, you had a high volume low. You're bouncing out of that with a lot of volume to the upside. Then you kind of come straight back. Now you're back up. Now this thing's just a uh, football, isn't it? Um, interesting. I still think uh, I've had some questions lately about whether I think that uh, there's still a lot to be had. Uh, for uh, fuel cells long term. And yeah, Toyota's uh, pushing out a brand new version of their Mariah, I think it is, uh, continues to add uh, natural gas fueling stations. I think at some point, and there's going to be a tipping point where everybody figures out that there isn't enough lithium to run these cars on batteries. Uh, they're also going to get tired of standing around waiting for the cars to either start fire or to uh, charge up and spend an hour charging their cars or whatever. Uh, of course, the faster you charge it, the lo uh, less uh, long those batteries are going to last. So I'm not a big fan long term of thinking batteries are the answer. You may come up with some kind of new battery technology, um, but uh, I've heard that for eight years now. Uh, all kinds of papers from colleges and institutions and nada, squat, jack has actually made it to it. Uh, and when we look at uh, even the batteries, uh, as of last week, I saw another uh, test of uh, Tesla batteries compared to batteries that have been made for the last 15 years. And we have a quantum move of 6% better energy density after all those years in lithium ion batteries. So it is not moving just because I make a bigger battery doesn't make make it any more uh, doesn't make it weigh any less or take up any more room. So just making a bigger something uh, isn't uh, you know that's an easy thing for Musk to do. In fact, let's take a look at Tesla. When we return, still got plenty of time to give me a call eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And we're back. I wanted to look at Tesla out here. This is uh this is interesting. Um, this is kind of what you look for in failures, and that is uh, you almost get back up at the top. You kind of go sideways. Uh, very interesting to see this stock not do much of anything uh, during the uh, China uh, debacle of uh, Friday and Monday. Let's take a quick look at this. I kind of vaguely remember that people were getting out of it. Almost nobody short this on a daily basis on a, uh, wow, you got about 3%, a little over 3% short. Um, nobody short this thing. Um, this is exactly kind of what you're looking for. I don't know if I'll pull the trigger, but I'll look at this tomorrow and see how it's moving. But uh Everything that you kind of like, a huge star, uh, sharp move down on lots of energy, back down to the May 19th low, uh, back up to 764.45. And this is what you want to see. You want to see light volume on the way up. You want to see everybody quit shorting, and you want it to go sideways out here. That means that every time someone tries to move the price up, you find a seller. That's generally a good indication that the insiders or the street folk are out here distributing it. 
that also means that you don't instantly get a really good signal that it's over. But uh, I'll have to look at it. I don't know what the options are on this. I will look at it uh, tomorrow morning. But uh, you know what? Not a bad deal. Um, I haven't. We've. I've made a lot of money being uh, short Tesla um, at the right times. This may be interesting. Uh, sell when you can, not when you have to. We'll see you here tomorrow. Same bat channel. Same bat. Channel.